can cross your legs too if you want. Whatever you can do. You look at her, look at the clouds. You are watching in the studio. My name is Natalie Minya. I am the director of Tese Foundation here in Davis. We help students in Zimbabwe to find education and uh, with sanitary packs. So our foundation started an event five years ago called Hats Off to Diversity High Tea. And this year we have the African Lioness Symposium this week, Monday, November 5th, and then the Hats Off is November 4th. So for those events, I wanted to invite African women and girls doing amazing things in their fields. And we are fortunate to have two of them here today and I'll let them introduce themselves. My name is Sheila Sheldon Charles. I am a Kenyan young artist, age nine, who fell in love with the art at the tender age of five years. Wow, and who is next to you? This is my mom. Oh, my name is Vivian Adiambo Otieno. I'm happy to be here. Uh, we are hosted by Tese Foundation, and uh, I'm so happy to be here. I am so excited you're here. Thank you for accepting our humble invitation to join us. Um, you know, you're an amazing artist. As you can see, the lion here is yeah. your signature painting piece, masterpiece. Yeah. And when I saw your 14 million view video on BBC Africa, I knew that I would at least try. I know you have a lot of people asking you to be a lot of places, yeah. but I knew that I really wanted to have you on my show. And I know you're an artist. A lot of people know you're an artist, but some people don't know that you're a designer too. So I would love you to stand up and show us um, one of your pieces you designed and tell me about it. This is my favorite piece because I went with it to the to the president, wow. my guy Kenyatta, wow. and he loved it. That's wonderful. So, what inspires you to paint? What inspires you to design? But mostly, I want to hear what what's your inspiration. When I was five years old, that's when my ma my teacher noticed my talent, and she told my mom about it. And I really thank my mom for supporting me. She started after that. She started having issues in her stomach. And uh, she, she was the breadwinner of our family. We really depend on our father because his work is uh, he's usually called and sometimes he's not, he's not. So I decided that I should stand up for women because yeah. <laughs> my mom had been suffering. She had done six operations. Wow. And uh, she could not go to work. That's why I said, She's my inspiration. Wow, that's amazing. Vivian, how does it feel? You know, I hear she's a, a celebrity in Kenya. You can't go anywhere without people stopping her for an autograph or a picture. How does it feel to have a daughter so famous? Uh, I feel good. Uh, you know, um, we have uh, children, and uh, actually, you don't know why God uh, gave you that such. Uh, child with uh, such great talent and uh, yeah. I'm so happy for having her because uh, she has helped us a lot in the family like uh, we depend on her she wow. really helps us like uh, and granted yeah. she's nine years old yeah she is yeah. what advice do you have for other mothers out there other parents out there that have a child with a gift and they don't have the gift because I think I've asked you do you draw she must you know it must be your gene or your husband's gene, and you said no. Nobody drew in our family, and uh, we are like, uh, where did she get this talent, and uh, how is she doing it? Actually, even with me, I don't understand. So what advice can you give to, to other parents out there to help them nurture their kids' talent? Uh, uh, to the parents, any talent your child might have, be it singing, like uh, a drawing. My girl just started with the sketching and I was like, why are you wasting a lot of time? <laughs> I know, uh, African parents. <laughs> yeah, sketching, you are wasting my ink and the books I should be using. Why are you wasting the ink? Yeah, and uh, actually it uh, later became something good to me. Like I was very sick and uh, she could draw and uh, bring food for us. Like or she could bring something on the table. So I later noticed that uh, whenever the talent you are, child have support her in yes. everything. Like in Africa, we used to uh, tell our children, like, uh, you should only be a doctor, you should be a, yeah, uh, like, right. uh, you should do these great, great things, be an engineer. But I later came to notice that uh, any talent your child have, please support. 
That's true. And look at what, where the talent has brought you here to the U.S. Yeah, I never believed I could be in, in the U.S., but I'm here because of her. Yeah. What does it feel like, Sheila, to be in the U.S. for the first time? I cannot believe it because <laughs> my talent has made me reach far. It really has, and you know, you have a talent. You mentioned about painting the president. I couldn't believe it. Let, tell me, how do you come from walking on the streets of Kenya to painting at the White House or at the presidential house? I painted at the streets, so we had been suffering, and then I knew that the president of Kenya really loves children, and I decided I should draw for him. Well, I was drawing. There's this girl called Amani. She's a singer. She, has, she sang Girl on Fire, and she went viral on Twitter, uh -huh. and Instagram. And then my, I told my mom just decided I should also put mine and let mine go viral. And he found it, and he found yes. you. And I understand he's even helping you pay, pay for your tuition because he wants you to stay in school. Yes. That's wonderful, really. I mean, I am so inspired by you. You are such an inspiration to so many people out there. Can you tell me more about your art and what dreams you have in the future for your art? Where do you see yourself? But I want to know, first of all, what's your inspiration for especially something like The Lion? She has a website and she'll tell you more about it where you can see all the other things she's painted. But what's your inspiration when you see that lion? It's just really magnificent. My art is like no other. Yeah. It's about blend, blending and playing with paints. And th that's why you can see a beautiful lion. It's beautiful, really, it's beautiful. What is your dream five years from now? Where do you see yourself? Um, I would uh, to have a foundation that will help women, widows, and vulnerable children because they suffer a lot. And uh, just like my mom, who is suffering, yeah. had suffered. Mm -hmm. yeah. She so has also other... been uh, dreaming of having a studio, like, uh, yeah. yeah, she can talk about her studio too, like. Where I come from, many people don't, many children don't have talents, but they don't have anywhere to practice. That's true. So my, I cannot say I'll teach them outside, because many children come to my house and they're not, my house cannot accommodate all of them. And I cannot also say I'll teach them outside because it, the weather of Mombasa, where right. I stay, <laughs> changes a lot. And my studio will help them. I'll help them practice their talents. And also the same studio will be where I'll put my paints and paint on. I can't wait. I hope you'll give me a spot in that studio one day. Will you yeah. promise to show me around when I come to Kenya? Okay. Yes, so I you will. you painted the Kenyan president and a lot of different people. You do arts by commission, but you painted two famous people here in the U.S. Can you tell me about them? It is Ellen and uh -huh. Oprah. And they're gorgeous. Yes. I've, I've been really longing to meet them because I know if I meet them, my life will entirely change. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> they, they have that special talent. <laughs> yeah. So where will you be this month? I know you're in Davis and um, Northern California um, for the whole month. Uh, where can people find you? Um, I'll be in Tessie Foundation. Yes. <laughs> Come and I'll see you and you'll see me live. Yeah, she'll be. So she's going to be actually auctioning off one of her masterpieces for our, our, our nonprofit, where we support girls' education. And I was really humbled. And uh, I know this was your idea to, to auction. You even chose which piece you're going to auction uh, yeah. for us. What inspired you to donate something so generous? Your, your pieces aren't cheap at all. So this is something that is really from your heart. What inspired you to donate such an amazing piece to our foundation? Many children suffer, and they don't, they don't have anywhere to go to school mm -hmm. and um, I, I, I had experienced that because when uh, my mom was suffering she had six operations and uh, it made me have a heart to give out. And I thank you for it. Our students wait for funds from people like you. And you know, there are some ways in which art can change the world. Yes. My son told me that and she sa he said, do you know that art can change the world? Look at Sheila, she's painting, but her painting is going to be used to change the world. Yeah. Have you ever dreamt that you would be a world changer? 
No. <laughs> well, thank you very much. I'm excited that you'll be in the Davis Sacramento area. She's doing Davis Art and About. She's doing a pop up. She's doing, you know, she'll be at our tea. Hats off to diversity. This Sunday, 2 to 5 at Veterans Memorial, she will be at our first ever African Lioness Symposium where we'll find out even more about her story at UC Davis this coming Monday, November 5th. And uh, you'll be at the Brazilian Center too, November 10 and 11, the Brazilian Center in Sacramento. So there are lots of places you can find Sheila here in the U.S. this month only. And of course, she has a website and a following, quite the following on YouTube. But I want you to tell them what's your website so they can check out Ellen's picture, Oprah's picture, and all the other things you've painted. You can see me on YouTube, Sheila Sheldon, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at Sheila Sheldon. <laughs> yes. Or you can promote me through my website page, SheilaSheldonArt.com. Thank you, Sheila. You're so amazing. Thank my name you. is Natalie Minya, director of Tessay Foundation. You can find us same place as she said. And you've been watching In the Studio by Davis Media Access. Thank you.